Hi there, Lyman Cedar. It's me and you from LymanCedar.com. Who's Lyman Cedar and Big Bustle Branding? The date is 5th May 2018. Time right now is 7.49. Okay, um, I got this question from one of the readers. In fact, I've been getting a couple of um, messages from people all across uh, Dubai and India where they send me, um, you know, news clippings about uh, Dubai's Prince Latifa. Okay, Dubai's Princess Latifa. And... Uh, he wanted to know what is my opinion about it. So uh, I, I thought, okay, fine, I'll give you my opinion about it. Now, right now, if you actually look at it, uh, you can check out the video that is by BBC News Night. Uh, it has just come out uh, on May 4th, 2018, where they say Sheikha Latifa, the daughter of Dubai rulers Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has not been uh, has not been seen since March 2018. Okay, you can go to Sky News. You can check it out. Um, you can even go to the times of the times.co.uk where it says Narendra Modi captured uh, signs of the capture of Dubai princess Sheikha Latifa. Okay. Uh, now, long story short. Okay, long story short. I'll just give you uh, one minute. Uh, let me just. Uh, there was a video that here that was put online of Princess Latifa speaking that she wants to run away from home and um, she wants to, you know, seek asylum elsewhere. And she she put it that, you know, her life is in danger and she's afraid. So that's what she put. And um, then after that, this started trending. And uh, it seems apparently a French former spy, Herve Jobet, and longtime friend, Tina Joanne Jo Harinen, who is originally from Finland. Uh, her friend, Jarrett, Jarrett Martin, is my friend on uh, Facebook. And I know him. So they are part of Sky Dubai. So they put all this and I started to read it. And apparently they, uh, not Jarrett, I mean uh, the French spy who is a friend, Herv, whatever, Jobert and Tina. You can see the interview that is on BBC Nightlife, uh, uh, Newsline, sorry, BBC News Night, BBC News Night. Just check it on Google, uh, sorry, YouTube, uh, where, you know, they actually speak about how they helped her escape. And then once they came to the Indian waters, apparently they were surrounded by the Indian guys and, you know, uh, they were uh, caught, arrested and taken back to Dubai. Okay. So then, surprisingly, uh, the, these this French spy and this lady from Finland were released. And that's the end of it. Now, if you actually Google and check online, Dubai Princess Latifa, you will see that activists want Dubai to reveal the whereabouts of princess who ran away due to restrictions. The mystery is remaining and there's a hashtag. Uh, they want to know where is she and all that stuff. Now, people want to know my opinion. Here's my opinion. Number one, why the fuck should it concern you? Seriously, why the fuck should it concern you? This is me speaking uncensored, okay? I don't give a fuck. I speak my mind off. I'm not in Dubai. I'm in Thailand. You know, I'm safe. And I can speak my mind off. And here's me speaking my mind off and telling, why don't you mind your own fucking business? This is a father. This is a father. This is a daughter. This is a private family affair. Why are you interfering in it? You know, my logic says, my logic says, if I was a father and I had a daughter, this is between me and my daughter. It's, it's like, if I didn't love my daughter, I would give a fuck. I'd like, fuck off, go do what you want. But I love my, if I, if I didn't love my daughter, I'd say, go the, f go do whatever the fuck you want. But if I do love my daughter, I would give a fuck about what she's doing. I don't seem to understand why people can't mind their own bloody business. If, if Sheikh Mohammed didn't love his daughter, he wouldn't care. He would just tell her, go do what you want. I don't care. But he really loves her. What I see it as, he really loves her. That is why he cares about her. That is why he's protective about her. That is why he wants to give the best for her. You know, when you're young, when you're young, you make a lot of mistakes. When I was young, I made a lot of fucking mistakes. Lots of mistakes. And I thought I was doing the right thing. Like I remember once when, uh, when I was young, I, I had uh, a pocket knife. My father, my stepfather, even though I hate him so much, he still grabbed it and took it away. When I think of it in hindsight now, I'm glad he took it away because had I had a fight, maybe I'd stab someone. So in the same way, maybe she's not 
in an emotional frame of mind to make the right decisions. Now, you're, you're talking of a ruler. You're talking of a ruler who can provide the world to the child. She maybe doesn't know what is poverty. Maybe she doesn't know what, what is the reality of things. What I personally feel is, what I look at it as, is a father loves his daughter. That's why he went through all that length to get her back. Maybe someone is brainwashing her. Maybe someone is misguiding her. Maybe someone is showing her a different life. He wants to give the best. And yeah, here's what I believe. Here's what I believe. Sheikh Muhammad has, if you Google, he has many, many children. If he didn't care a damn about them, okay, which many fathers, they don't give a damn. There are, I, know, I know fathers who have maybe even one child and they don't give a damn. They don't give whether the kid has gone. But here you have a father who really cares about each and everyone. That is why he wants to keep them together in the family. The problem is today's generation, they tend to have this weird view about, oh, this is great there, that is great there. They want to get away from the nest. Now, you also need to keep in mind that Sheikh Muhammad is a leader, is a world leader. He's balancing the, the, the priorities of the country. He's a businessman. He has to take care of so many things and he has to take care of his house. So obviously, if he has taken care of the country and does, uh, he has done such an incredible job, he has taken care of his people, he has done such an incredible job, he has taken care of the businesses and done such an amazing job, you think he'll do such a miserable job on, uh, you know, where his family is concerned? No, I beg to differ, I'm sorry. You know, I, I don't look eye to eye in Dubai and many things, but here I'm telling you, if I had a daughter and... Other people are putting a fucking hashtag and say, oh, what has Lloyd done to his daughter? Who the fuck are you? Fuck off, man. It's my daughter. It's my child. It's my business. Stay the fuck out. You know, the problem is these people are so fucking jobless. They just want to create a fucking nuisance. I personally feel that this is a family matter. It's a private fucking family matter. You're just speculating. Oh, he's tortured her. Oh, he is gonna kill her who the fuck are you you know just just mind your fucking business and here's a big thing if the ru ruler of dubai was a monster was a tyrant was someone who really wanted to harm you you think this french guy and this finnish lady would have been released you seriously think they have been released no they're a, why did he release them he would have tortured them killed them uh, you know held their family hostage like you see these mafia movies he would have done all that stuff but he did do all that he let them go and these people are still blabbering and talking bad you know you know when it comes to family leave people by themselves just you don't know the inner happenings you don't know the stories you don't know the problems it's like for example my wife I, I put up a post saying that my wife massages my feet you're like, oh, you fucking bastard, you, you are torturing the girl, you wanted a maid, you are, you know, feminists are saying, oh, you don't treat her equal. You know, my wife worships me, she joins her hand and she, she worships me. Yeah, because people are fucking jobless. This is what I want to tell you. She is a princess. He is a ruler. He is her father. A father would never harm his daughter. And if he didn't love his daughter, he wouldn't have got her back. He is like a lion. He is protecting his children. He, he has so many children. They all are doing great. One child, you'll have one rebel. There's always a, a rebel. I'm very sure he loves her. I'm very sure he wants to give her the best. And maybe this, you know, clash of egos. And the only reason he bought her back is because he cared about her. I personally, I personally feel this is a very private family matter. I think people should mind their own fucking business. Leave, leave them alone. It's the private family matter. It's, I look at Sheikh Muhammad as, as a loving father, a loving father who loves his children. You can you just look into his eyes. You can, you can make out, he, yes, he may be strict and whatever. Uh, if you see the videos, she jumped out of uh, the airplane with the UE flag. And you know, if you, you think if the father didn't love his child, he, he would, uh, you know, he would uh, allow her to uh, learn skydiving all that. The father has given so many incredible opportunities. She speaks English so well. She has such a great personality. She's skydiving. She, is, she has so much of talent. She writes poetry, whatever. So then 
if the father has given all this what more do you want the father to give see there are different people have different styles of upbringing different rules for their house you can't expect a global fucking rule to for everyone to follow here's one thing let me tell you in canada in canada and united states apparently there is this rule that if your child if your child is a boy or your child is a girl and your child feels no i'm trapped in a if a boy feels no i'm trapped in a boy's body i'm a girl you know these health services they can take your 3 year old child i'm not exaggerating you just have to research this they'll take your child and they'll put it to a, a th- therapy with a psychologist and they'll start giving your child uh, you know these hormone pills and all that to change the gender of the child and the child later on can go through a gender assignment surgery just imagine somebody comes to your house and takes your child away from you this shit is happening today i personally i'm telling you once again this is a private family matter leave the f- leave them alone if you don't want people interfering in your fucking life why the fuck are you interfering in someone else's life it's a private family matter and i i i i personally feel that the ruler of dubai is a great father i feel he is doing what is best for the daughter and if he has gone all out of the way to get his daughter back and also release these people who try to you know take his daughter from him that to me shows he's a good guy and this is a private family matter i think people should leave them the fuck alone mind your fucking business focus in your fucking family life take care of you if you don't want anyone interfering in your life why the fuck are you focusing on other people this is just fucking tabloid junk and i think people should learn to mind their business if if i have a daughter if i have a son and we have problems between us it's a private family matter i think nobody should interfere so this is what i feel and i feel and i feel that a lot of people are jobless and they're just getting into all this shit so live from live messenger.com who's live messenger they personal branding um like the video give it a thumbs up don't like it give it a thumbs down let me know what your comments down below but this is what i feel so this is me signing off for now take care